What's up everyone? As the title suggests, we will try to install Nextcloud on XOS. Nextcloud is a cloud application. It helps you to have something like Google Drive and so on on your computer. You definitely know what it is or heard about it at least. And it's gonna be fun to try to install it on NixOS. By the time I'm explaining a little bit about it, although the explanation isn't deep enough, I'm about to open the configuration file to install Nextcloud. I like this is a disclaimer, I'm not gonna go in everything in details. It's for the sake of simplicity. So we copy all of this to our configuration file, paste it here. And of, of course you should understand or know that you need to change your username and password from the default ones because they are easy to guess and yeah, for your security you shouldn't use them, you need to change them. You need to read the wiki for more details about deploying this in production environment. The demonstration that I'm going to give you may not be may not be enough. Uh, you can read also this what you find in in this one next cloud modules documentation. You read it and apply what matches with your need. The apps that you can add you can find them here. You all know that Nextcloud has some apps that can be add added depending on your desire. You can add them from that list. I don't know if it's inclusive or not. And then we run the command to rebuild the configuration and download the applications. I actually still did not add the applications that are related to Nextcloud. I just want to install it first and then we can change the configurations to get the extra applications like Office and Calendar and so on that you can get here. We have these apps here. My Nextcloud installation is done. For the applications, I don't need to add them to the configuration file, it's simply done, it can simply be done by uh, using the web interface that we get when we install Nextcloud on any machine, it's the same here. Just to be clear, when I read this, the database that's used is SQLite, you may not like it, you need to change if you change, read, read this to get more details to understand what I'm telling you because you all know that uh, Nextcloud requires database, requires web server and so on and the options for it are something between SQLite, MySQL and Postgres so depending on your desire, depending on your requirements you change between the, these three ones or the others if it's possible it uses Nginx as I guess and you can read this for more details about each module for PHP. Uh, for the setup of, if you want to set up the database, you need to run extra commands, the plain commands whenever you use uh, or install MySQL, for example. I've seen them. Yeah, here they are. If you are using MariaDB, you run this one. If you are using MySQL, you run these ones, and so on. So, all of that I'm not going to go too deep in it. All I wanted to do is to show you the simple installation of uh, Nextcloud on XOS. You 
you may need also to add the ports of the firewall to the configuration file just like we did in previous videos here we just type localhost like this and we got our next cloud working for the password and the username as I said you need to change it's admin pass test one two three admin pass and here test one two three it said it's wrong let's check if test one two three oh yes so it's root not admin pass here root test one two three don't save and we got our play next cloud dashboard let's display change it to make it better for you so here you scroll down to the configurations of the firewall and then on the port of web or HTTP and HTTPS which are 80 and 433 I can't even remember it 40 443 443 save and exit alright so let's change this to something like this apply We have here our uh, next cloud. It's a very awesome application that I do like to use according to the wiki. Uh, it's possible to install applications. Let's try use this. I will show you that it says that it's possible to here it's, it tells how to use Apache instead of Nginx and I've seen where uh, where it says that the applications can be installed using the web interface that's what I guess that's what I've seen yeah, installing apps and PHP extensions. Next cloud apps are installed statefully through the web interface. Yes. So the ones that need extra PHP extensions to be installed, you can configure them with this setting or variable in the configuration file. Yes, so this is installed, right? What else? Should we try? Let's try to install this. Remember, this is not for production. Also, if I can access it from my web browser, let's check if it's possible. 10.0.0.107 This is this is not possible. I believe it's gonna complain. Yes, we need to open the firewall ports. So we run the command again. The firewall ports will prevent, since they are closed, the firewall will drop the connection. So we need to open the ports. This is very basic anyway. Yeah, it's not going through. And this is doing this, the job of opening the firewall ports. Yes, so we need to add to the untrusted domains. Yeah, this is untrusted domain. We need to make it trusted by going to the configuration file, but this time is for Nix 
OS configuration file which is here uh, we scroll down host name can be here I'm not sure or it can or maybe it's somewhere else dot one o seven is save and this again I'm not sure if the syntax is correct and this will make me uh, access my next cloud from the local network it's in case it's correct the syntax yes so it complained like this maybe maybe it's not that but we try yes it's still the same that was the simple installation of nextcloud on xos make sure you subscribe like share and comment and cheers